everyone welcome back to my channel my name is sandy today we are going to be watching americans guess the cost of british healthcare um i don't really know i think it's a well-known fact about the nhs so they shouldn't really be surprised that much about it i think everybody around the world knows about it's pretty world famous the nhs that there's universal health health care in the uk so uh but yeah let's see U.S. country, it's nothing but a strip club. It's nothing but hustle. We can have all this. We should be able to have good health care. Universal health care should be, you know, something we all should strive for. We nickel and dime each other here, and people don't realize. It might not look like it, but we're in Dallas, Texas. In terms of health care, this city is the least insured in America. Around a quarter of people don't have any cover at all. We're going to talk to regular Texans about the NHS and the cost of their medical bills. What's the, what's an average medical bill for you know a, a regular Texan? How much might that might that person be paying for their, their premium and, and their regular well, let's bill? Let's say you break your arm. Uh, regularly in the rest of the world, that's a couple hundred dollars. Here in Texas, easily two thousand, three thousand dollars. Could I ask you then to guess how much it might cost in the Jesus. UK if you broke your arm? That situation, how much do you think someone has to pay in order to have that fixed? Two hundred bucks. Yeah, it's totally free. Totally free. Wow. I can tell you, I just, I've just i got a busted shoulder and I can tell you exactly how much it cost. Do you mind? Yeah, sure. It was $5,000 just to have a doctor look at my broken sh collarbone. Right. Just to look at my broken collarbone. Jesus. You have to pay that on arrival? Um, no. My insurance covered the majority of it, but my portion of it was about just shy of three. Wow. So, yeah. And then presumably so ongoing the physiotherapy, then, still things like that. Anyway. That part's pretty much covered by insurance, but I have really, really good insurance. Okay, sure. So, and if, is that through, through, your, through your job? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes our jobs provide, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't. So what's the case for you? Do you, do you have insurance? No, I, I don't. Okay, no, so, I don't. So if something happens to you, you need health care? We have to pay full price. Right. Yeah. And that, presume, that can be very expensive. It can be very expensive. Would you like insurance? Yeah. Would you like, you'd like to have that health care? I would like to have one, uh -huh. but you know, I, sometimes we cannot afford it. Right now, I'm about to go to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going to travel for two weeks. Because I'm going to have some dental done, mm -hmm. uh, some dental work done. Okay. Only because here in the States, it will cost me like $10,000. $10,000 for the dental work here in yeah. the US. Uh, do you mind me dental asking how much it's going to cost you well. in Mexico? About a thousand. Wow, so 10%. Yes. And the quality of care as good? As good or even better. Wow. Going to see the doctors, a couple hundred bucks. If you don't have insurance. Right. Just to get a checkup. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious to someone like me. I'm first time in this city. It's clear there's a lot of money here. Big buildings, offices, nice cars. It seems like there is the money to be able to create this kind of system. Right. So why do you think there isn't that level of healthcare? I believe there is. Okay, that's the cash. Okay. I think I think that's the risk. But they just haven't allocated that money where for the for the people. Uh -huh. We can have all this. We should be able to have good health care for all. There's two versions really being offered here, isn't there? Trump is offering something quite different to Joe Biden in terms of health insurance. Um, do, you have a, do you have a preference? Do you think there's one that's better than the other? Or do you think the system at the moment? I don't think there's none different. I mean, it's, it's all business. Uh -huh. So pretty much as far as I have learned, which I'm 34 years old, this US country, it's nothing but a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> sure, I mean, it's nothing but hustle. Uh -huh. So that's what, it's, they're, what they're doing out there. They're just hustling. They really don't care. You think it's the, the healthcare companies, the politicians, they're all sort of, it's about it's about profit? Yes. Universal healthcare should be, you know, something we all should strive for. I'd like to see some some healthcare changes. We need massive overhaul. I don't think it's it not just about universal America. or anything else. It's just, it's insanely expensive regardless. Mm -hmm. Start there. Do you think that there's much political will in this city for that to happen? Do you think broadly people want that to be the case? In the city, yes. Okay. In the, uh, in the urban areas, yes. Suburban areas, they're just, they're typically more conservative and they're not really sure exactly what all that entails. And so they're not, they're not going to do it. My understanding is that people are generally sort of opposed to taxation here. Uh, yeah, but it's more, you start screaming about socialism more than anything. So that's really what they're going to do. Right. R rather than perhaps but engaging with it really, really as an idea. Exactly. Anyway. Rather than actually thinking about it logically. We can afford it as a country to take care of each other. And uh, these nickel and dimings of uh, these procedures that are costing thousands and thousands of dollars just aren't that expensive everywhere else in the world. Uh, we nickel and dime each other here, and people don't realize what universal health care means. Yeah, you'll pay a little bit more in taxes, but you're saving thousands at the doctors. Uh, and people really that need to true. be educated on that, and they just don't want to be.
Yeah, I think I think in America, people just don't want to pay any more taxes. I think the taxes are already high. I don't know much about America. I've never even been to America, so I'm just going off of what I've seen. Um, here in the UK, it is really helpful to have the NHS because you don't have to pay when you get there. So if you if you something happens to you right now, you break a leg or an arm, and it, the ambulance comes and gets you. You don't need to pay anything for that. Uh, whereas in America, it's a completely different story. Uh, you pay through taxes because obviously somebody has to pay for it. I do think, I don't know what happens if you don't have a job at all and you, and you can't. I think that then it has to be completely free for you. But for people that work and pay national insurance and all that stuff, then it's not free for you. You have you're paying some way, but it does help the fact that you don't have to have money to get to the hospital. Um, in South Africa, there is something, you have to have medical aid, which is basically medical insurance. If you want, it's, no, it's nowhere near as expensive as it is in America. Uh, you pay a month and then it covers most things depending on what cover you get. But most people don't have medical aid because they can't afford it. The government system is really poorly funded, but you won't die on the streets just because you don't have money. You will get to the hospital, just not as good a hospital as you would if you have more money. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, also, um, with the NHS thing, if you're a foreigner and you're coming to the UK and you're applying for a visa, you have to you do have to pay for the NHS before you get here, which is about, I can't remember how much it was, I think it was about almost £4,000 for a five-year visa. I think, it, yeah, about that much. And then when you get here and you do get a, get a job, you do have to pay for it again, um, which is fine. I guess every country has its rules, so it is what it is. Um, but... Yeah, you do. Somebody has to pay for it. It's not completely free. And yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.